Hello, welcome to lesson 18. In this lesson, we are going to look at the projection Latin or what we call a slide projector. A slide projector consists of a concave reflector, a strong source of light, a condenser which consists of two plan or convex lenses, and we have a slide here placed here and then we also have what we call a projection lens and a screen so here a strong source of light is placed at the center of curvature of a concave reflector and then the light from the source of light is reflected back onto the condenser which is which then concentrates it onto a slide which then concentrates it onto a slide and then the projection lantern so that the projection lens forms a magnified real image of the slide onto a screen Let's have a note. Uh, first of all, we need to know that a projector is used for viewing. A magnified is used for, for viewing a magnified image of a film onto a screen. A magnified image of a film or a slide onto a screen. And also we need to note that uh, a film is the region where the slide is to be placed and then the magnification of the slide is given by uh, that is a magnification M is given by V over F minus 1 or just V over U V over U or V over F minus 1 where V and U are the distances from the respective distances from the projection lens and to the screen and slide up to the projection lens. So this is U and then this is V. And then F is the focal length. And here the F here is the focal length of the projection lens. Let's also make another note here that uh, that above expression that we have looked into of M is equal to V over F minus 1 clearly shows that uh, when F is small then we shall have a bigger magnification or a higher magnification since we have V over F so we, it implies that if for us to get a larger magnification as we can uh, we shall have V being smaller than and uh, we shall have F being smaller than V because we know that M is equal to v over f minus 1 so if f is small compared to v then m is going to be bigger so for us to get a bigger or a higher magnification then then the focal length must be shorter compared to the distance v then also for an enlarged image the image area is equal to the linear scale factor squared uh, times the object area the image area is equal to the linear scale factor squared times the object area where this linear scale factor is actually the magnification so that linear scale factor is the magni is the same as the magnification this one here and so i can make if i put here magnification i'll be having image area is equal to magnification squared times object area and therefore magnification can be given as the square root of image area over object area So this is a very important expression that we have come up with that magnification is also given as the square root of image area over object area. Let's have this example. A projector produces an image of area 1.2 meters and times 1.8 meters onto a screen. So this is the image area. The screen is 5 meters from the projector lens 
uh, the projection lens that is if the area of the object slide is 2.4 centimeters times 3.6 centimeters calculate the focal length of the projection lens the distance of the slide from the lens the distance of the slide from the lens that is the, the u so first of all they want us to get the focal length of the lens so we know the, that uh, using this information i can get the magnification and i also know that magnification is equal to v over f minus one and since i have the distance between the lens and the screen then I can get if I see I have V I can get the F so first of all let me get the image area is going to be 12 times 18 so 1.2 times 1.8 which will give us 2.16 meters squared this is in meters then also the area of the object slide is 2.4 times 3.6 this is in centimeters so I have to change it to meters by multiplying times 10 power negative 4 so I'll get it as 8.64 times 10 power negative 4 meters squared. Because I want, I'm going to get the ratio, so I need to convert all of them in this, to have the same unit. So from here, I can get, then also another information which has been given is the V, which is 5 meters. Now we know the formula for magnification is the square root of image area over object area, which is also the same as, uh, v over f minus 1 which is also the same as v over f over u so first of all i can use this formula to get the m and that is going to be m is going to be the square root of 2.16 divided by 8 times 8.64 times 10 power negative 4 and the magnification will be 50 then i can now use this so I can say 50 is equal to V over F minus 1, which is 5 over F minus 1. And that will give me F as 0 0.098 meters, which is the same as 9.8 centimeters. So that is going to be the focal length of the objective, sorry, of the projection lens, focal length of the projection lens. Now if I want to get the distance of the slide from the lens, that is the U, I also have the relationship between m and v and u so i can have m is equal to v over u and i know v i know m so when i substitute i get my u as 0 0.1 meters which is the same as 10 centimeters so that's how you can work out that question let's also look at this other question a projector is required to project slides which are 7.5 centimeters square onto a screen which is 4.2 meters square if this if the distance between the slide and the screen the distance between the slide and the screen is 10 meters what is the focal length of the projection lens we uh, what focal length of the projection lens would consider would you consider more suitable so they want us to get the focal length of the projection lens which would be suitable to produce such an image of this object. So, so let us see, this is the object, of, that is the slide, and then this is the image. So we want to see what will be the focal length F. So first of all, let us look at the illustration here. We have a slide, have the projection lens, and then the screen. The distance from here up to here is U, then from here up to here is V. Then I've given us the distance from the slide up to the screen, which is 10 meters. So what we are going to do first of all, since we have information about the image, the object area, and then the image area, I can get the magnification. So let's first consider that. The, obje the object area is 7.5 centimeters square, which is 7.5 times 7.5 centimeters squared. And then if I change it into meters i'll multiply it times 10 power negative 4 then also i have information about also i have information about the image which is 4.2 meters so if i multiply that it is a square of 4.2 so it's 4.2 times 4.2 which will give me that 4.2 times 4.2 then from the formula magnification is equal to image area over object area 
which is also equal to uh, v over f minus 1, which is also equal to v over u. So I can first of all get the magnification since I have this information. And I'll get my magnification as 56. So I have the magnification of 56. So I'm going to substitute this. Since I have, the, I have here the magnification, but I also have the relationship between magnification and V and U. And I know that V plus U or U plus V is 10. So I'm going to use the, that expression as M is equal to V over U. That's what I will be using, which will give me 56 is equal to V over U. And if I cross multiply, I get my V as 56U. as equation 1. Then also, I know that u plus v is equal to 10. So I'll also have that u plus v is equal to 10. When I combine the two, I can work out the two simultaneously. First of all, I can decide to bring where there is u here. I can put where there is v, I can put 56u. Then I have 57u is equal to 10. And therefore, u is going to be 10 divided by 57. And that will give me my u as a... 0 0.1754 meters or I can have it in meters in centimeters as 17.7 17.54 centimeters and then when I substitute for you in equation one I can get the V as 9.8246 meters or I can have it as a if I change it to meters I can have it as a uh, as you can have it as 982.46 that is 982.46 centimeters but I know that because remember what I'm looking for I'm looking for focal length I've got the U and V I'm looking for the focal length so, since I'm looking for the focal length I'm interested in I can use this formula here. I have V, which I've already got here, so I can get F. But I also know that uh, M is equal to V over F minus 1. And if I substitute 56, I can make, first of all, I can make F the subject. Take this on this side, I get M plus 1 is equal to V over F. Cross multiply, I can get F is going to be V over M plus 1. And if I substitute, I can get my F as 0 0.1724 meters or 17.24 centimeters. And that will be the required focal length. It's the same as 17.24 centimeters. Yeah. Thank you for your attention. We meet in the next lesson.